everybody. We are here today on our local range here in Sydney, Nebraska. Thomas is here and we have got another sweet gun. We did a video a while back on, what was that? It was the 1895 guide gun. And the, the this SDL. is kind of the, the shorter version of that? Yep, they chopped two inches off the barrel. They kept it threaded for you so you could be like the modern man and have a suppressed lever action, I know. And uh, they gave it a bead blasted finish this time or a satin finish. Uh, so it has less glare, um, and then they put Skinner uh, trapper sights on it. You know, make sure our gun's empty. Um, so they gave us a, a, the, the Skinner aperture trapper sights. It's adjustable for elevation. You just screw this up and down, and then you just set it with that little Allen screw. And then it's also got this removable aperture that you can pop in and out if you want a bigger aperture or a smaller aperture. It's pretty slick. You know, and our, our typical laminate stock affair that, that Marlin's been doing on these guns so that guys can go out and use them and not have to worry about getting a, getting a beat up or having the weather just destroy them. Um, you know, the kind of weather that we're getting right now where it's raining and you can kind of see the clouds in the background here. You know, and they, they, they did the, the spiral sort of flutes on the bolt again so that, uh, and essentially it just means that there's less contact surface in the, in the receiver and it's gonna run smoother and if you've got any grit or dust and stuff in there, it gives it a place to kind of get in and get out. What is what is this right here, Thomas? Uh, uh, this is just a uh, dovetail blank. Okay. So it's, it's popped in there so that, you know, it takes the dovetail out. But if you wanted to install certain scope mounts okay. or a certain kind of sight that goes in there, uh, like if you wanted to put express sights or something on it, um, that would be where you could do so. Um, I really like, you know, it, it's kind of like the old excess sights you know, big ol' aperture and a white stripe front sight. The the Skinners are, I, I think they, they've done a pretty darn good job here. I, I really like a white stripe front sight on, on these big bore guns. It's just super fast to acquire, and, and it gives you a very precise aiming point at the top of the sight, um, as opposed to a fiber optic or anything like that. And it's it's a, a five plus one, so, I mean, once you get it in target and or on, on target and you start shooting, you can shoot some more. And like the last one that we talked about, 4570 as well? 4570, yes, as it should be, um, you know, for your, your backcountry encounters. I, it's, it's, it's really handy. I honestly didn't think that the, the two inches off the, uh, the barrel would make much of a difference, but it does. And uh, if I was to, to pick one, if it was Thomas, you gotta, you gotta get a guide gun or a, or a trapper right now. It's like, well, it's gonna be this one, the yeah. trapper. Um, I, I think I, I, I like this one more. I, th I think I like the clean lines of without the, the rail and stuff more than I liked the other one. Um, but once again, I'm, a, I'm an old guy. Run that action for us, Tom. Oh, here we go. It's Ooh. slick, I know. Yeah, that's... In slow motion now. No, I... <laughs> um, but same, same safety as the other one. Yeah, it's got the same, same safeties. You know, it's got the modern push button safety for you. Um, you know, which is, it's, it's not desirable for the old West guy, but we're not in the old West anymore. And honestly, it's, it's it, to be ready and have the hammer back and, and you can put the gun in action with just a little push button and it's quieter than running the action. Um, so if you're sitting in a stand, it's, it's the way it should be these days. Um, so if you were going to do something to this gun from this point right now, what would be the first thing that you would do? I'd load it and go shoot it. Um, <laughs> that's, that's pretty plain and simple. Um, yeah, honestly, it, it surprised me because I'm so used to guns coming with these tiny little apertures, but I think, I think Ruger and, and Skinner um, got it pretty dang close to ideal um, right out of the box. So, And this is then the second model that Ruger Marlin together. Correct. Right. Yeah. Um, so far, you know, I, I think when you go on their website, you can see that they've got a few models mm -hmm. out. And up until right now, all you could get was the 1895 guide gun right. or the SBL. And it was, you know, the other model. And, and so this is the second one. And um, we look forward to getting the 336, 3030 in here. Uh, yeah. they, they've made no promises on when that's going to come out yet. But uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I have high hopes for it being soon. Um, and I should also say that it's, it's this, this rear sight's adjustable for windage. You um, take this little screw here. Uh, I see. Yep, and then this whole sight assembly moves side to side. 
and then you know th right. you know then you can also kind of turn this so that it's all squared up and lined up with your site so yep it is pretty nifty and uh honestly i think they kind of knocked it out of the park very cool well if you guys like this gun we want to hear what your comments are leave a comment we have this one yep so, we have, this one's in stock give me a call 308-203-1155 give me a call at the shop and uh lock it down sweet thanks for watching guys make sure you like this video subscribe to hybe outdoors and uh check us out on all the other social media pages mm -hmm.